welcome back to another cleaning video. My name's Katie Satilli. If you're new here, I would love it if you hit that red subscribe button and hit the little bell for notifications. I post videos twice a week, usually a cleaning video and a day in the life video, so make sure you're subscribed if you like that kind of content. I do have a new channel that I just started recently, so if you haven't checked that out, I'll make sure it's listed in the description box. It's my new Katie's Cozy Clean Home channel, which is all about cleaning and organizing and keeping your house like spotless and all that stuff. So if you like those kinds of cleaning videos, make sure you're subscribed. I'll make sure and leave a link down in the description. So let's just get on into the cleaning. So in today's video, I'm gonna be starting in my room, which has recently turned into the office and the school room for my husband and my daughter. So it is quite the disaster. I wanted to start here and just start making the bed and kind of getting things tidied up. But I also wanted to mention that today's video is a collab with a really sweet girl here on YouTube. Her name is Becky Moss. She does lifestyle cleaning and motherhood type videos very similar to my channel. She is almost going to hit a thousand subscribers. So make sure you go over and subscribe to her channel. Let her know that Katie sent you. And I truly believe that we can get her to a thousand subscribers today. So let's all just pull out the kindness in our heart and take a minute and go subscribe. So I always joke about how small our condo is, but I'm telling you, it has gotten smaller within the last couple of weeks. Cause as you can see here, we have my daughter Fiona set up in our bedroom to, so that she can do her distance learning with her class. They do Zoom calls four times a day and they just do a lot of work from the laptop. And so I'm trying every day to kind of like organize her school space and kind of get rid of some of the clutter and it's so funny because I never have to worry about or even see her desk at school but desks get very messy and stuff especially when it's a six-year-old so anyways I was tidying that up and now I'm gonna go over and start a load of laundry And my poor husband does his entire day's work from this bed right here. So he sits on this bed and does all of his work from his laptop. He does Zoom calls. He does all kinds of stuff. Um, but it's so crazy because him and Fiona are both in this room doing their work while me and the boys are downstairs wreaking havoc on the house. <laughs> So this morning I was actually doing all of our laundry before the day had even started. So um, I was just folding a load and then I had put a load in and I wanted to get this done before my husband and my daughter started their day in our bedroom. I'd love to hear in the comments below what you and your families are doing during these stay at home orders. I think that it's fascinating to hear the different stories about how people are functioning and just working from home or what have you. So let me know in the comments below how your family's doing.
don't care about no gold, no one else to hit my phone up. None of that pretentious life. No, 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 don't need no pills to get high. There's no doubt in my mind. Your love is all that I need. And I don't know if you noticed, but today's video is a long one. So I basically spent an entire like half of a day just cleaning and filming myself. So stay tuned because there's a lot of cleaning motivation involved in this video and it's super satisfying once we get downstairs because everything was very messy, very just like dirty. Everything needed to be cleaned off. There was dust everywhere. There was dirt all over the stove. Our sink was like disgusting. It was just a mess. So anyway, stay tuned because there is a lot of good cleaning motivation coming up. So now we are headed downstairs and this is where I kind of start cleaning around my children. So I wasn't really sure if I'd be able to get stuff done with the kids around, but I just told myself to just try and do as much as I could. And it actually worked out pretty well. Like, I mean, as you can see, I had to like <laughs> do certain things a little differently just because like Hudson was licking the Windex off the window but it worked and I have three kids and one was in school so it was kind of like two kids so anyways it worked for me and I was super happy about how clean the house got just from me doing it with the kiddos. So as you can see, my boys are already getting their mouth and their fingerprints all over the window, which is why this window just does not stay clean very long. <laughs> and this is me coming inside realizing that's what they're doing. You just have to laugh because if you don't laugh, you're going to cry. Anyways, this is my cleaning list. I had been starting to write things down recently um, that I need to clean for cleaning videos just so that I can kind of stay on track and remember the things that I think of like when I'm just walking around the house and I'm like, oh, I really need to clean the microwave or oh, I really need to clean fill in the blank. So I have been starting to keep a list and it has made my cleaning process a lot more focused and intentional and it's been helping me like a ton.
What happened to us? What happened to all the love we always took for granted? Are we stranded? Is it too late? Is it too late to color feelings that have faded? Complicated. I'm waiting for an answer. Waiting for now I'm just going to go through my kitchen with this Clorox Sentiva, which I can barely get it to focus, as you can see. But this is in the coconut scent, and it smells so delicious i'm sure that it's very hard to come by now i bought this bottle before all the coronavirus stuff hit so um i've been getting a lot of messages about where i bought this from and stuff and i think i just got it from target or walmart um, but that was before all the coronavirus craziness hit so So there was this little mark on the backsplash and my husband was like why don't we try taking a knife to that so i did and it came off in like 0.1 second <laughs> why don't i do that a long time ago all right so i am going to be cleaning out my sink next which is so funny how on camera it looks like this bright white but if you look really closely it's really not clean at all not clean at all. So, anyway, I grabbed some bleach from upstairs because I'm totally. So, anyways, I'm gonna try cleaning the sink with bleach and just like soaking them, um, both sides of the sink. And then um, I every time I go to the store and go down that cleaning aisle, it's first of all insane. There are so many people. Second of all, there are no cleaning products left. I don't know about where you guys live, but we're here in Los Angeles, California, and it's crazy. I can't find any cleaning products, which I'm like, why are people hoarding sink cleaning products? I don't understand. <laughs> but anyway, so I'm going to get into cleaning the sink. Hopefully the bleach will kind of like take some of the stain out of it, and let's just try it out. So as my sink was filling up with the hot water and the bleach, I wanted to get started on the nastiest part of the day, which is my stove. I don't know why I let it get this disgusting, but and I don't even think that this video shows just how disgusting it was, but there was so many layers of just like overflowed pasta sauce and food and oh my gosh i can't even like believe that i'm putting this on the internet but anyways all that to say i was also taking off the handles of the stove because i've actually never done that but i did a video with bronte Rique um a couple weeks ago i don't know if you guys remember and she did that in her cleaning video and i was like oh my gosh that is genius. I don't know why I've never done that before because I always try to just go around them, but it's so much easier just to take them off and clean underneath them and then clean the actual handles. So that is just a tip for you guys. I did that for the first time and I absolutely loved it. Let me hear you say I'm ready. I'm ready. 
So I had to let that cleaner kind of soak and sit there for a little bit because it had been so caked on and dirty. So I was letting it soak and then I came back over to it with the paper towel and just kind of started scrubbing all of the areas, which most of the areas were fine, but one of that back left one is the one that we use the most often and it was just disgusting destroyed and totally needed to be cleaned and let me say that after this video was filmed my kitchen it feels so good to be in it i can't even explain how good it feels to be in a clean kitchen So now I'm heading in with my Wayman's stainless steel cleaner and polish and this stuff is the best. I actually bought a new bottle today when I was at Walmart and I wanted to get it because <laughs> I'm almost out of this bottle of it and it's my favorite thing to clean our stainless steel with and without it I just don't know what I would do. So I picked up another bottle today which I was really happy that they had it still at the store even though all the other cleaning products were sold out, but they still had Wayman's because I don't know, stainless steel is not like something that people need to clean right now. <laughs> So today is Saturday, the day that I'm filming this voiceover, and so far I have gone to the grocery store and picked up all of our food for the week, and it was quite a bit of food. I think I'm getting more food per trip just because I don't want to go out for multiple trips during the week because of everything going on. So I got a ton of food, which I'm very thankful for. And Walmart was a little bit crazier than it was last week, actually. I thought that it would be more calm than it was last week, but there was a line to get inside the building, which there wasn't a line last week. And then there it was just kind of crazy. They had like arrows pointing you down the aisles, telling you which direction to go. So you could only go a specific direction down each aisle and then some people were messing up well I messed up at first too because I didn't realize what they were doing 
but people were messing up and going the wrong way down aisles and people were getting in fights and it was crazy. It was really just kind of a crazy day at Walmart. Um, but anyways, I got everything that I needed and then came home and put everything away and washed my hands like for a thousand years. So now that I emptied out all of the bleach and hot water from the sink, I was just scrubbing it out and getting all of like the little pieces that were left. And I was very happy with how white this sink was. Like, oh my gosh, it turned out so, so white. I would love to hear how many of you guys have lasted this long in the video. I loved doing this on my last video where I was doing spring cleaning and I asked you guys to leave a heart emoji if you had made it all the way through me cleaning off my, um, what was it, my cupboards. So if you have lasted for the first 24 minutes of this video, let me know by leaving me a heart emoji down in the comments. Here's the kitchen, it looks super clean. Well, this was nicely put over here and then my children kind of got to it, but. Okay, so it's pretty clean. That's, I have that out because I'm using it still. That's drying the sponge. And then I'm going to start cleaning the rest of the house because Hudson just went down for his nap. So I am really happy with how the sink came out. It came out really, really white, like, I'm wondering if I've just been wasting my time scrubbing it with these like sink scrubs when I could have just been bleaching it. I mean, it looks so white, it's crazy. Okay, so here's the status of the rest of the house. There's a fort built right here. There's toys literally everywhere. And <laughs> then there's my children. So because I had been working so hard on the kitchen this day, my living room had turned into a disaster, which I know I could have just asked my kids to clean it up, but you know, some days I just wanna do it myself and just get it done without having to like hassle anybody. 
which every day we've started a tradition in my house um, where right before we do schoolwork, I turn on the cleanup song. And so we have about five minutes of cleaning up where everybody helps clean up. And it actually makes a really big difference. And it's crazy how much gets cleaned up. It's it's crazy how much my kids are like growing up and can they can do a lot, you know, and I don't even realize it sometimes. But anyway, so that's something that we do every day now that the kids are home a lot because the house just gets messier and more cluttered and the toys are all over the place and the school stuff is all over the place. Let me know down in the comments if you agree and you have that same experience in your house. So now I'm going in with my Honeysuckle Mrs. Myers spray um, and I'm just going to be wiping down several areas in the house that just need like light dusting. Um, this is not an area that needs to be dusted but it definitely just needed to be wiped down from a, the last meal that we had had. But um, I do want to say that this stuff smells so, so good. I couldn't believe how good my house smelled after I used it. So if you are in the market for getting a multi-surface cleaner, this is a good one. Now this does not um, take away like bacteria and stuff like that. So that's why I use it just for dusting, but it's kind of fun just to have something that smells good for dusting in the house. So I highly recommend it. So you see me laughing right here and switching the camera angle because <laughs> it looked more obvious to me but the whole camera was tilted all the way to the side so <laughs> I was laughing and obviously fixed it so that you wouldn't see that ridiculous angle to the side. So I did something in this video that I haven't done in a really long time, which is used a broom. I always vacuum up my kitchen floors and that seems to work just fine for us. But for some reason, I hadn't got my vacuum out yet. So I just grabbed this broom from the porch and I could not believe how many little crumbs were like in the corners of everything and it was just so nice using a broom i was like oh my gosh i need to use a broom more often it feels like i'm being old school when i use a broom i don't know why but i just feel like everybody like vacuums their place or whatever but it was really nice using a broom so let me know down in the comments if you use a broom or if you vacuum
And now I'm just going to be whipping out my O Cedar Spin Mop and filling it up with super hot water. And then I'm about to get my Fabuloso product out, which I really love the scent of that. It just smells so fresh and clean. My husband says it smells like a, a sushi restaurant, but I don't make that connection at all. But I love the way that this stuff smells. I think it's the lavender scent. So anyways, I love this stuff and I was going ahead and getting this bucket ready to clean up the floors. So instead of using a um, dustpan, I was using like a paper towel that I just got wet and kind of just swept up the crumbs with, which totally works just in case you ever can't find your dustpan and you need to get stuff off the floor, just getting like a paper towel wet and wiping it up. That is a great way to do it. So I always get a lot of questions on this spin mop so I'm going to go ahead and answer a few questions just in case you're wondering but I will make sure it's linked in my description just in case you want to pick one up for yourself. I love this thing. I think it's like one of the best investments that I've made for my cleaning products for a long time. And I like it because you can actually take off the white part that is being used to scrub the floor and you can take it off and throw it in the washing machine. So it's super clean and sterilized and it's not just like the one mop head being used over and over and over. I really like that about it. And then it just works really well and you can just take it around your house. It's like a super easy um, bucket to lift up and move around. And I absolutely love this thing. I feel like it gets the floors super clean and yeah so what do you use to clean your floors i'd love to hear in the comments below are you using a spin mop or like a regular mop or what do you use not gonna lie my voice is starting to hurt from talking so much in this voiceover <laughs> this is a long cleaning video if you guys are still watching I'm 
super impressed and thankful that you're still watching. So now I've just headed in to our bathroom downstairs, which this bathroom gets the most use out of it by far out of any of our bathrooms. So it gets dirty really fast. And so I was just going to go ahead and wipe everything down and stare, not sterilize, but um, use my disinfecting spray, get some new soap out, all that stuff, and just kind of freshen, freshen it up. A different view of my life You left me running on and on But I don't care, would you let me in? You said goodbye like everything's gone Everything that we could have been But I I always talk about this in all my cleaning videos ever since I started my channel, but one of my favorite things to do is to Windex this part of the sink after I go ahead and clean the rest of the sink. It just makes it like super polished and shiny looking and I love the way that it looks afterwards. If you're still watching this video, will you take just a quick second and head over and hit the thumbs up button? It would give me so much joy to see more thumbs ups and likes on this video. Um, it helps me a lot and it helps my channel and the video to grow. So let me know if you like the video by going ahead and hitting the like button. This feeling I'm feeling you could be the one I see no reason why I should ever let you go mm -hmm. I don't want to wake up if I'm dreaming because you know I can't get enough so I just wanted to say thank you to you guys for watching another cleaning video with me. You made it all the way to the end and I'm so thankful for you and the fact that you watched this video all the way to the end. Let me know what you are cleaning or what you're about to clean down in the comments. I'd love to hear. Also, don't forget to check out Becky Moss's YouTube video. She also did a whole house clean with me and it is linked down in my description box. I'm sure that you will absolutely love her channel and her. She's super sweet, stay at home mom of two kids and I think that you will absolutely love her. So don't forget to go check her out. All of her information will be linked in my description box. And don't forget to go subscribe to my second channel, which is Katie's Cozy Clean Home. I have a few hundred subscribers over there and I am going to be starting to upload content within the next couple weeks. So you won't want to miss out what's going to be starting up over there. Again, that's in my description box. Lots of things happening in my description box. And thank you so much for watching with me.
wanna do I think we're part of something bigger And now my mind is filled with you Oh, you know, oh, you know, oh, you know Oh, you know, oh, you know, oh, you know Baby, with us. 